Yo, this is Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Live in the can. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real Fans Real Talk. We the illest of course. Real Fans Real Talk. We the illest of course. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real Fans Real Talk. Reporting live from the cam. High in demand. So please stand by if you can. What we got is worth a lot. So put a tie on your plans. On court. Talking sports through the eyes of the fans. With Trip Young. Johnny Floss, bringing a different type of blend Backing up Misfit to make sure y'all tuned in You gotta watch, this show is one of a kind Updates on your TV screen from 8 to 9 For the older folks, so even if you younger No matter what sport, this show, we got it covered It's filmed live in the middle of BK So ain't no better sports show to watch on Thursday Sports show to watch on Thursday Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another live episode of Real Fans Real Talk. I'm still hyped over that intro. I'm, I need some time to get over it because it's <laughs> fire. Um, <laughs> we have a full house tonight, guys. We have Trip Young in the building. What's going on? Legend of Two Games right here. You already know what it is. It's Thursday night. We, we had to bring another legend onto the show tonight. Yes. Who's that? Did. The shooter. <laughs> Respect <laughs> the shooter. The you one know and what only. We got a higher gun over there. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Happy to be here, man. So pleasure to have yeah, you again. Yeah. You know you family, so it's not that's a fact. It's nothing new. I feel like this is home. <laughs> yeah. Always, you know that. Yeah, yeah. So we got some sports news for you guys. Let's get started with MLB. So the Washington Nationals uh, won their first World Series against the Houston Astros. Now, usually when a championship game visits the White House, it's usually very controversial. Um, but in this case, they kind of had a hard uh, decision to make, being that they won in their backyard. Now, there still was seven missing players. Um, I mean, we can kind of speculate as to why these specific players did not show up. <laughs> uh, one of them being uh, the star, Anthony Rendon, who is a Mexican-American. So that's kind of, I think, for obvious reasons, he didn't want to visit Trump. So yeah. what do you guys what do you guys think about that? Um, I, I definitely agree. We know why Anthony Rendon did not want to go to the White House. Um, as we talked about in the past few years, there's been this debate on whether the team should go or not. Mm -hmm. Uh, whether we agree or not, in this case, I understand why the Nationals win. Right. It's their first World Series as an organization. Yep. They're the hometown team. And for a lot of those players, it's a lot of homegrown talent. So they were guys who really saw this from when they were a bad team mm -hmm. to now becoming a World Series champion. Right. So I think you, you've got to celebrate it. So for guys like Ryan Zimmerman, for Max Scherzer, for uh, Strasburg, you had guys who had been with this team when they were bottom feeders. Yeah. And now winning, you want to celebrate it and you want to really take your victory lap now. Mm -hmm. um, so in most cases, I would have been like, nah, you shouldn't go, you should boycott right. it. But in this case, I completely understand why they went. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel you completely on that, agree. Eric. But at the same time, they invited us to go to the White House. And if we wasn't all going, we ain't <coughs> going. You know what I'm saying? We got to go as a unit. I agree. But listen, we, we've yeah. won multiple championships. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's so, true. Oh, so I got after, to, you know, it's like when the Warriors didn't go. Okay. You know what I'm saying? When the Warriors looked at it, like, we, we got several chips. We don't yeah. have to go this one time. Yeah, 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 okay. We can get it on the next time. That's all right, I, can, yeah. I can respect that. Yeah. I do agree, though, because it showed the division, really. Like, for seven people not to show up and yeah. only one to take to the news and say why. But, and then, but in, in baseball, they got, like, 100 players on the team. So not like, not quite. Now they got, like, 50 big yeah, yeah. How, many, how many play? Like 50? Uh, yeah, the the rest playoff is... roster is 28, man. Oh. But then when you throw in coaches, <laughs> general managers. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a lot of people. Right, a lot of people still going. Yeah, so like, I mean, seven people not showing up, they just to stand their grounds. That's it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Everybody has their beliefs, and, and uh, you know, you can't like force anybody to do what they want to do. But at the end of the day, yeah. you try it's to support to be, them. It's supposed to be you know? a brotherhood, or, you know, a sisterhood with the ladies. I don't want to exclude the ladies, but you know, it's for all for one, man. We we a team, one one unit. Mm -hmm. And when when you have somebody in the office that's excluding a lot of people and mm -hmm. putting separation between a lot of different groups, I'm gonna support my brothers because at, at the fact. end of the day, y'all don't win that World Series if uh, if this man doesn't play the lights out the way he was playing, and the rest of the guys that actually step back and said, "Nah, we're not going. We we don't support that." Um, you know what, what this guy's doing. I'm you know I don't like using his name. But I, I I think that it's it's kind of tough to like 
this is a one in a lifetime opportunity. Right. Like the White House, not, forget who's in office. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Like you can, you can go on a visit in the White House anytime you want. They got no, but I think it's, it's, it's different so because they, they are the hometown team. They, and it they, is they're in Washington, right? Right. DC. Then you better play harder and you better try to resign Strasburg so you can get back. Hopefully, when Trump is not in, in office. But anymore. it's not just them going to the White House. I mean, even when they were up there doing the press conference, like you have one of the players putting the you know the the mega hat on and just kind of like engaging so much with Trump and not that they're supposed to stand there and ignore him he's honoring them but i can see to your point like it's a brotherhood it should be one and the division that you you've seen up there there are players that were home that were offended by him constantly mexican americans that weren't there i mean if my teammate was offended but i don't know i feel so like i you, wouldn't just i, I wouldn't even rock with you no more after you went up there yeah. and put a bag of hat on yeah like, I mean, I like, just, I if you win it's like right, it's that, one thing. the hat is but one you, thing right now you're rocking the hat too come on right buddy. the hat is one thing but again like i said for guys like ryan zimmerman He's been with that organization over 10 years. He True. knows what it was like when this team was really bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. they understand. So he's trying to really enjoy this moment. And I don't think it's fair for anyone to say you shouldn't go mm -hmm. when you've spent 13 years in, in the league and you're trying to get a championship. Yeah. You should be able to enjoy that victory lap no matter what. Do I, like I said, if I'm Anthony Rendon, would I have gone? No, absolutely not. I, I understand his point. Yeah. But we can't knock them. We, we can't have this recency bias of, oh, they shouldn't go because of their, their opinions and I, my teammate isn't going, so I'm not going to go. Mm -hmm. Listen, the Nationals have never won. And for the city of D.C., they haven't That's had a championship huge. in a long time. Yeah. Right? The, the hockey team just won, won their first championship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the capital. The basketball Eagles, team ain't won since the 70s. <laughs> the Eagles yeah. hadn't won, they, and they didn't go. I mean, the Eagles situation was different. But you like, had guys think, like Malcolm think, Jenkins on that team. I think, too, it was the heighten of certain things, too. Like, when, when that all was being talked about, when teams not going... But, you know, I think after that, it's, you know, some teams have been going and stuff and it hasn't been Well, it's as... been it's been hockey yeah. mostly mm -hmm. that, that, that have right. gone because uh, basketball hasn't gone, hasn't gone yeah. since uh, he's been in the office. Uh, NFL teams, they haven't they haven't gone uh, as, as well. So it's mostly Didn't the Patriots go? Hockey and Patriots, uh, right. I won't see yeah. the Patriots, well, but, you know, that's, that's his, his buddy. In the but again, yeah. Yeah. Those, none teams. of those teams are the hometown team. Right, and to your point about them going or them not going, rather in the height of it. Yeah. This was during the time when the news reporter Laura, Laura Ingram had said, "Shut up and dribble." So right. of course, yeah. you're not gonna go to the White House when news right and that. and yeah, he, right sure. after. So you know, obviously, America kind of has short term memory. When things happen, we forget and about it. Like, dies okay, down. Right. Yeah. So during this time period, it's not as like racially, racially like you How know, di was. divided mm -hmm. as it was before when those situations happened. Right. So I get it. I get it. They're the hometown team. I think that, yeah. that's what adds a different layer to this. If they weren't the Washington Nationals, if this was the Houston Astros, that's a different argument you have. Yeah, it's their background. When you're the hometown team and everyone's celebrating you, plus their fan base has shown their support. They booed the president when he showed up to game four. Yeah. So their, their fan True. base is with them. They understand this. Like, you've got to have your victory lap and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. For sure. You know, yeah. I, I agree, 100%. Yeah. But, I mean, shout out to them for winning. And that, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Without Bryce Harper, like, you know, with that whole controversy yeah. of him mm -hmm. and signing with the Phillies. And, and, and I uh, think it's a perfect time, too, for Strasburg to come on to the Bronx and, uh, you know, get the Yankees. Yeah, the Yankees got to do something. Anthony's, yeah. a, spoil you, Anthony's yeah, a spoil you bro. sports fan, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, like, he's so used to his team winning, it's easy for him. Like, don't go to the White House. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. win all the time. Exactly. Well, well the yeah. Yankees, I mean, the Yankees haven't won in a the while. First time. Yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been. I think what, like ten years. Ten years since the since the Yankees. Uh, this is Yankees like going won. through withdrawals for you. So guys. that's what you I'm saying. Win. So if we, you know, Strasburg, come on over. I'm making the pitch right now. Strasburg, come on over. Uh, Garrett Cole, you lost. You might as well come to the Yankees as well. And with those two pitches, and then you know the Yankees uh, bats. That's a dynasty right there in the making. That's a good. We could probably win five in a row right there. Yeah, Stan got to play though, man. We don't even he, need him to play because the no, rest but of the Yankees play like no, no, but like, the, the Yankees the bats are so good. Everyone else from the top to the to, uh, bottom of the lineup is so good that if you added Strasburg and Garrett Cole, I don't care if, if just if, trade for Mike if Trout. Stan never trade got for all the All Stars. Nah, just get Mike all Trout, All Stars. Nah, Mike Trout wanna I mean, lose. get the All, all Stars. That's <laughs> only he, time. He, he Yankees like only happy when they got all the All Stars. It's yeah. like it's not enough. To have the all stars we have and win hundred games, Does, I mean, we got to go get more all stars now. Listen, okay, it's not it's not our fault that we so good. <laughs> yeah, but, I am mad. I'm a part of the team that was in the playoffs. I'm a part of the playoffs. So yeah. I'm the original George Steinbrenner regime where we don't care about money. We throw we throw bags at everybody, all right, and bring whoever we want to to the Bronx. So I'm yeah. I'm okay with that. I mean, but at the end of the day, they, they got to win. You know they what I'm saying? They have to get over but that hump. And, and they got just as many uh, championships as there are teams in the in the league. That's a fact. So yeah. that you is know, a fact. I'm just gonna put that out there.
You know, that's I just crazy. To just say that, out, you know, like yeah, that. I didn't mean to brag. It's man. been about, <laughs> it's been about a decade since we yeah. got one. How long has Rashida, it been since we, your team we, made we, it? Because I know you support the Yankees. No, I'm, I'm, long, a, I'm a Cubs fan. Oh, now you're a Cubs fan. We've been talking about the Yankees. Oh, okay, you got, you're a Cubs fan. I'm a Cubs fan. So, you know, can, we, can, we give, can we give Rashida some props? Can we give Rashida some props? Shout out to our beautiful. She keeps the drinks flowing and nice and chill. It's one of those days, too, where we're going to need it. Right, we're talking so much about the Yankees. I felt like we needed we needed something here. We do, because every time when you when you drink, Eric, you talk positive about the Yankees. I know that about you when you start drinking that's when all the positive yankee stories come out then in that case rashida take this drink back because i don't want to say nothing positive about them right now you know but now what else we got what else we got today and what we got going on listen enough of baseball so speaking of <laughs> i'm gonna move past it too i can't so. so former nfl tight end kellen winslow just pled guilty to two sexual assault charges now this guys i'm so tired of speaking about another egregious crime committed um, by an athlete. So when he was at the University of Miami in 2003, um, he allegedly uh, you know, sexually assaulted a unconscious woman. She was 17, he was 19. Um, and then in 2018, he also assaulted a 55-year-old uh, hitchhiker. Now, what? this was yeah. crazy, yeah. So he was facing um, lifetime in prison if he did not plead guilty and it went uh, to trial. So with him pleading guilty, he's now facing 12 to 18 years. So he's, you know, facing uh, some hefty time, but not compared to, you know, life. What do you guys feel about this? It's crazy. Wait, 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 where did this happen? Like, what state was so this So the San assault Diego. In, the, right. The it's most recent charging. ones are out in California, San yeah. Diego. The 2003 was at the University of Miami when he was yeah. a... Mm -hmm. um, the Titan, didn't he used to play with the Jets? Oh, you make him he played with today. the Jets okay. towards the end of his career. Yeah. Uh, he was originally drafted by the Browns. Browns he played with right. Tampa Bay. He played yeah. with the Jets. Um, he's kind of a legacy child. His dad is a <laughs> football Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah. Um, who no, played no, with I the know. Chargers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's yeah, it's very a lot of layers to the story, though, because not only those two that we know about, there's a situation where he masturbated in front of a woman at a supermarket parking mm -hmm. lot. Um, Yo, what's wrong yeah, with Yeah, your man's out of control. So in total, he's there's control. five accusers. Right. And he pled guilty to two. Um, he's wilding right now in these streets. Like, this is not, only is he, not only is he wilding, he's I'm not, not in, to cut you he's off. He's in jail now, right? Well, yeah. Well, he's, he's, he's awaiting sentencing. Yeah. He, he's looking at 12 to 18 years. But it was a unique trial, even watching it, because even when he was pleading guilty and the judge was like, are you sure? And you're under oath and, you know, we're asking you one more time. He was like, I mean, I guess so. It's, you know, I guess I have to. Like, his answers were really unsure to me. Yeah. So it was kind of weird because even his lawyers, I think, were kind of against it. Now, he said something when the judge was saying, like, do you understand the time that you're facing? And he's like, I just want to do 12 years um, and get back to my family. So I, I feel like he assumed that he was going to be found guilty if he went to trial and he was going to get lifetime. So yeah. part of me, I don't know he did all of these things. I don't know if he's if he put guilty because he was like, let me just take the minimal amount of 12 years and just get it over with. Because if I get life, I'm gone. So how how is that like a life? How did that even the whole life come to play? Like, is well, because once you go to trial, based on the things. based yeah. on the Not laws there, yeah. Yeah. So to me, the evidence is, right. Like, uh, to me, the intrigue in this story is his defense has been from day one that his lawyer's defense anyway, because he hasn't publicly spoken about it, aside yeah. from when he pleaded, mm -hmm. is that they are attributing his behavior to brain trauma. He yeah. had a really bad motorcycle accident his rookie year in the NFL, and we know how prevalent CTE is within mm. the NFL. Yeah. The problem with that, though, is you cannot test for CTE on a living person. Yeah. yeah. So there's no way of really telling. You mm -hmm. can only go based off of behavioral behavioral patterns yep. yeah and, that, and, and that's that, why i think the yeah. entry comes in on this yeah that's a huge part that you mentioned go ahead yeah that's and that's why i kind of because you know the past couple of weeks we've been with the guests we've kind of really been getting into uh that's mental right. illness mm -hmm. uh you know big shout out to coach d mm -hmm. um and uh, al harrington who, who came a couple of weeks ago and we, we were breaking down the whole uh mental illness situation with different players you know al harrington had mentioned you know there's a reason why Josh Gordon keeps going back to smoking marijuana. You know, so a lot of, especially in football, where you have a lot of these head-to-head -head hits, the, you know, the concussions and all of that. So, and, I'm, and I don't, I don't want to make it seem like I'm giving him an excuse because I don't, I don't know the situation. But we do have to look into the effect that a lot of these players are dealing with mental issues. Now, again, like you said, Eric, we can't test with uh, CTE right. right now, so we won't, we won't necessarily know until, you know, obviously, until he's deceased. But that is a factor that we have to look into when, we, when we're talking about these cases. Right. I mean, we, we won't know um, 
is it an excuse they're using? I hope not, because yeah. obviously this is a, a very serious case. Mm -hmm. These are multiple women. Um, none of us up here know him well enough to know what his patterns were and, mm -hmm. you know, did he just have moments where he just snapped and, and showed aggressive behavior or this is how he always was? Yeah. We don't know that. Well, the, the issue with it, though, too, is that some of these um, accusations were made before he even entered the league. So it's the like... The first one, yes. Yeah. Correct. You know what I mean? So I don't... To your point of, like, a pattern, but then even that is kind of... And this is why I'm kind of on the fence on whether or not I, like, know or believe what really happened because in 2003, the woman that accused him, like, even she said she really has no idea if anything happened, but she feels like it did. Correct. So even her, right, and it was, she was unconscious, so she was unconscious. They she were feels college like- College kids partying. Uh -huh. She yeah. wakes up the next day, they're in the same dorm room, and her she, clothes have been changed, and mm -hmm. she, uh, she had the strong assumption that something happened between them. But getting that assumption, though, is not enough to get- Miss, yeah. nah, I'm, But listen, I'm not even gonna touch on that because as a woman, you would know better than we would. I've never been in that situation, True. so I'm not going to assume now, to you know. You can definitely black out but that, and not remember. Yeah, because that's Absolutely. a discussion. That's but I don't happened. want to make light of it either and make it yeah, seem yeah. like, oh, because you don't remember, nothing happened. Well, yeah. I'm, and I'm not saying that. I'm just saying to try someone but to say some, for, over for assumption. To say, right. I, I was raped. Yeah, but well, she didn't know. She, she, she did not know what happened. Right. She, we're going under the assumption that because her clothes were altered, that something happened. Right. And they but they don't know. But they to me, use that's that gonna... they use that incident though to kind of develop a pattern with him. Yeah. yeah. That's really why that instance was used. Because that story came up, I believe, right before the draft, mm -hmm. that they, there were those accusations about mm -hmm. him. But again, there was never enough evidence to say that's what happened or it didn't happen. No right. one ever knew. Right. And the thing is, you know, because and even you know, going back to the mental illness, because we don't know how far back, because you gotta think these guys play football from from Pee Wee. Right. That's true. And I, you know, I filmed Pee Wee. I done seen, you know, yeah. a couple of times hit, some right. crazy uh, mm -hmm. injuries, you know, at, at that age. So now imagine when you're talking about Pee Wee, the, the kids started thinking around seven, eight years old. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about going from seven, eight years yeah, old hit. all the way to an adult. The amount of of, of physical of force Abuse. that is going at your your body, your your mental, your head, for all of those years, you know, it could have a toll. It take a toll on you. Absolutely, yeah. and we can't overlook. We, we view concussions and the physicality of football the way we do now yeah. because of all the research. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're talking about a guy who was, again, playing Pop Warner in the 90s mm -hmm. when you were taught to just, yo, suck it up, let's go. Yeah. Oh, Get you just got play. your bell rung, let's go, go yeah. play. All right? Now the NFL has all the protocols in place to stop a guy from going back on the field. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of guys who have openly said, I probably had mo six, seven concussions before I even hit the league. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lord knows, I just thought I was a little dizzy. I just thought yeah. I was seeing stars Concussion. and didn't know they wow. went right back on the field. Yep. So yeah. again, that's not to excuse his behavior, yeah. but we don't, we really won't know the type of trauma. Aaron Hernandez, who everyone knows for the murder, yeah. when they tested his brain after he died, Aaron Hernandez was about 28 when he hung himself. Yeah. He had the brain of a 60 year old man. That's how damaged his brain was yeah. at the time. Yeah. So we don't know, right? We don't know what mm -hmm. Kellen Winslow is really dealing with mentally, and we won't know until years from now when he's when he's gone. And to be honest, when I was watching the footage of him like pleading guilty, like just the days in his eyes, he looked so removed from the courtroom that I wouldn't doubt. Like, is there something going on? Whether it's mental health, right, yeah. you know, mental health, or like you said, CTE, whatever it is. But it just I don't know him personally, but just watching it. He was just so mellow and so like, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm pleading guilty. I guess even, I'm doing this. And yeah. I'm watching it like, you right. guess, boy, even, you about to even do 12 the, years. Even the years. judge was taken back by the way he answered. And he said, are you sure? Right. He was like, I mean, yeah. this is what I have to do. And I'm like, no, like, this is crazy. This is your life. Right. So I, there's definitely something wrong there, 100%. There's, there's a lot more to the story that we're not going to know right away. Yeah. Um, yep. But there, there are multiple, aside from the women, obviously his life, we got to see how this plays out because there, there are multiple lives that are damaged behind this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I definitely, you know, we, we spoke about it heavily in October was Mental Health, uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just encourage any athlete, whether you're an athlete getting hit physically or just a person, anyone, to it's okay to go to therapy and just start. Even young, I told you guys last week, one of my best friends, he has his daughter in therapy <coughs> now. And she's like... I want to say like nine years old because he wants her comfortable with going to therapy. Yeah. So something that we at the show just encourage completely. So.
Yeah. Yeah, we just haven't, I, I don't think in our community, we, we haven't been, uh, that hasn't been something that has been openly accepted. No. You know what I mean? It's almost yeah. like you look down upon And it's still who, not. It's, who go to it's, therapy. It's, it's, like, it's still yeah. not accepted. Sometimes you just need to talk to somebody right. that you yeah. don't know. Unbiased. Our therapy Unbiased. is the big homie on the block. Yeah, like you know, talking to that's Big Daryl. Like, yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> that's our therapy. You know, that, so like. That's a great point because Coach D said that. Coach yeah. D said with a lot of I know them. Coach D. She, right. uh, she, we She's worked amazing. together in the uh, LQJ uh, yeah. camp. You know what I'm saying? This past summer and stuff. She's pretty dope. You know what I mean? And she's all about that. Right. Yeah. Mental health. And, she actually and, has uh, something coming up this month. I'm going to uh, post the flyers on Instagram. She has a, uh, another mental health awareness uh, mm -hmm. training that she's going to be doing later this month. So I'll, put, I'll give you guys all of the, uh, the info on that. Mm -hmm. See how casually he's like, LL Cool J camp, you know. Yeah, you know listen, you're I talking forgot about you're a, a whole star. Like. Yeah, I mean, talk about a legend. Haran was one of the Freeze. last dudes to get casted on Power. Y'all don't even know that. Yeah. A lot of people don't even know that. Me, 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 me and 2 Bit. <laughs> you and 2 Bit? Yeah. <laughs> 2 Bit started off where I started off. Background and stuff. Real talk. And yeah. Then like, and then he, 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 uh, now he got, he got speaking roles. And yeah. Wow. Yeah, so yeah the he, acting he game up. is a hustle. It's crazy. It is. The hustle is something that I haven't really like. You dibble and dab in it, but you gotta really be in it. You gotta like not yeah. work. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's you crazy. It's yeah. like, once they call. Yeah, once yeah. they call, you gotta go to cast. I, I missed a lot of different casting calls. So the things that I did get, I could have got even more yeah. if I was available. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Those people are available. The time that I made castings, I couldn't work. Like, I, yeah, I just you didn't go. Stop. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or the, the worst thing about that is like, you know, when you're going for auditions and stuff, like if you don't get something, you feel terrible. Cause it's yeah. like, yo, Defeated. I like literally wasted my time yeah. to come here yeah. and do this. And some things you, you think that you're not gonna get and you get, you yep. know, some things you think you got, you don't got, like, you know what I'm saying? We, gotta, we actually got a movie that's gonna be coming out soon too. Say. But I didn't wanna, you know, <laughs> I ain't gonna let the whole cat out the bag, but you know, a word, I'm myself, in Emerald, yeah. uh, a legend of two games over there. We got a little a movie coming out. You know, y'all gonna be able to uh, check it out uh, in, in like another month. I think it's gonna drop in uh, in December. Is it? But oh, uh, yeah, you know, they, they called us up and um, they, they not know, ready. They not yeah. ready to see. No, that. listen, they wait. I gotta talk about though. this real quick. So, you know, I take acting class every Sunday here and there. You know, Ow. I dabble. You know what I'm saying? But this guy killed it. Like we did a short film yeah. and he was phenomenal. Like it was so good. I'm telling you. No, but look at him. I'm look at telling him, you. <laughs> the legend of two games. Bro. He like, played in the whole, a whole, at the three games. A whole yeah. new person do, showed up on I set. I do what I can do. Yeah. Like I was it nervous. was scary. I was, I, seen him, I was nervous by the role he played. I was like, I got to go after him. Yeah. Like this Listen, is crazy. It was the role, it, I don't want to give too much away, but the, the role was, was written perfectly for me. I, yeah. you know. Listen, I told y'all, I got a little scoop from Holly Berry. She's filming in the Bronx for three months. So, mm -hmm. listen, y'all. No, nah, listen, don't have we everybody gonna, hitting you up, though, wanting yeah, to know like where the location's at and all that. Because they're not going to be able to come with us. It's just, it's just us. That's it's it. just going to be us on set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm there, son. And, and, and Holly. Yeah, you're you know. definitely there. Come yeah, on, you already know. Bro. Come on. I don't want to let you know. I know you see me balling last week. Okay? I did. Because I'm did. preparing for... You the know, comeback? I'm preparing for the yes. for the, oh, for the tournament. Oh, balling for peace. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. She she really preparing. I don't you know, hold on. I'm just don't try to give her two minutes. Like no, because yeah. some no, because some of the girls don't be getting enough time. Emru needs to start. All right, and we need her in the fourth quarter for the last at least the last six minutes last of the fourth six, quarter. Because I seen the woman you had last minute. year. Don't yeah. play with me. We need oh, to. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, nah, shots fired. I didn't go there. I didn't take it. I didn't take it there. Except for now my best friend Naya, I seen you. Girl. You know, I, everybody, you know, except <laughs> Naya and your friends, so you know. No, it, all of them. I'm playing. All her, all her friends off. is cool. Yeah, all her friends yeah. cool. Keep her friends in. Yeah, everybody else. <laughs> but the other everybody, girls, they gotta go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, but I think we had a, a great balance this past year with the, the females and the women that did participate in Bowling for Peace. We had a lot of people again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I got to scale back. Everybody minutes got cut. Yeah, everybody got minutes got cut this year, and they kind of like ran the time this year. It's always something. At yeah. every, every place you go to, it's always a little something. Like, you know, they had to run the time a little bit. But um, at the end of the day, everybody came out and had a good time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm eager to uh, get something, another Bowling for Peace going after the, we had the flag football. Um, we're yeah, going to do the great. bowling. We're going to do bowling again. I was going to ask you, is, oh, is that time of year? Yeah, that yeah. time of year, Battle of the Burrows, so like part three? Battle of the Burrows, part five. Part bro. five? We didn't, the first wow. year wasn't Battle of the Burrows? It wasn't, but... Oh, we just going to make it. <laughs> but it's the fifth year <laughs> now. Yeah. Yeah. All, all right, so yeah. now it's just bowling something different. Piece, bowling edition. Yeah, so all, the fifth all right, year. all right. So, like, I, I created the Battle of the Burrows three. This is this, this is the, th the third one. Like yeah, you come said. on, the first, come on, Yeah, man. you know, the first two we had at Chelsea Piers, Baltimore. I'm not... Yeah, it was Baltimore and Chelsea. So we had it there the first two years, and it was more of a um, more of a mixer. Those first two years, the last 
two years has been like really, and Times and uh, Times Square and Tom, Times Square and then we had a lucky strike last year. Yeah. It like picked up business, picked up as far nice. as like um, people getting involved because it's like you go through the motions, you don't really know what people are gonna like, but people really like the bowling. Like, mm-hmm. I think they like it a lot. Because everybody can play bowl. They all can bowl. Yeah. Right. And then it's like, okay, so now this year, what we're going to be doing, I'm going to have a, it's going to make it more competitive. So we're mm-hmm. going to have the, you know, the teams, you sign up, Brooklyn, whatever, Bronx and all that. But this year, we're taking the top four people, the top four teams with the top four scores. So if okay. you bowling on the Bronx and you score 200 <coughs> or whatever, you're going to be representing the Bronx in the semifinals. The finals, I should say, out of the top four teams. Mm-hmm. So now you're not just bowling the bowling. We're not just taking somebody could be on your team and just awful. Right. You know what I mean? So we're taking the top four scores from each team, and know that that's who would go to the to the finals this year. And then we'll have like two open celebrity lanes as well too. So they'll be competing as well, but they'll be in their own lanes. So bowling. we'll probably be in just being a celebrity lane. Yeah, you know I mean you can do that as that. well too. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you know what I mean? Because I don't want to show nobody up. Lane. You know, yeah. on the lanes. I try to humble myself and not show people up out there. Oh man. Man. Well, man, 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 well, your man came out with a glove last year. He was ready to go. Yo, I mean, Ben had his PBA certified glove. He had his own ball. Yeah, I mean, he had the ball. Fingers cut out. Are you serious? I was on the bowling team yeah. in high school back in my heyday. Oh, you know, I, got, I got God. you. You know your high school had no damn bowling. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. My high school, I, had, I, went, to, I went to A. Philip Randolph. We had Ed, a bowling team. Y'all not have no damn bowling. So where did y'all bowl at? Y'all didn't have it in your school. No, not in the school. Go to a bowling alley and bowl. That's crazy. I wouldn't even feel like that's my school. Yo, I be by Yankee Stadium, when, when it was still around, it was a bowling alley by Yankee Stadium. We used to go up there. That's where we had our practices. Yo, at. You know he's telling and the truth. Then we go to the game. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. That was the end of that. They trying to change things. Was no, I, that was that was like the end of that. And a lot of people don't know that. You see what I did there? No, but no, because you because you're absolutely cute. right. Because a lot of people don't know that. And the fact that <laughs> no, no, seriously, a lot of people don't know that. The fact that we stepped it up and we went from you know being at Bleachers and going over to the Barclays Center, that took it to a whole nother level. And your so tournament now, at the Barclays Center is not a real tournament. Exactly. Period. Just, just you know, call it what it is. Period. Everybody, right? I, I see all these people trying to do tournaments in their backyard. It's a lot of the block party and cousin cousin Ray Ray house and all of that and it's not the same. It don't hit the same as when you can play the finals at the Barclays Center. That's a fact. You know, 100%. under the under the bright lights. It's different. It's, yeah, so when it's your whole mom different make your company leave and the tournament's still going on. It's not yeah, the yeah, same yeah. as when you at the Barclays. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we hit. It ain't like, hitting the same. I, did, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. So yeah. so when is when are y'all doing that again? Ed? Well, we're gonna we're gonna be at um you know we first of all we opened it up to the youth because the kids been asking us for the past couple of years yes. if they can get down with the tournament and mm -hmm. y'all know you know a lot of the stuff that we do is for the youth and, you know, the and for the community we we love, love the kids so we brought we brought the youth tournament in so that's gonna go down November twenty third that's Saturday at Kmart from eleven to four shout out to to Kmart uh, they've been rocking with us the last two years and they invited us into the store to host the first round the hip hop gamer is actually gonna gonna host uh, that event at the at, at Kmart um, so that's anybody any kid seventeen and under I don't care if you if you a newborn baby if you know how to play two K <laughs> you can sign up register get yourself a ticket to a Nets game and you get a chance to play in the tournament. And um, that's gonna go down on uh, November twenty third. How and much is the entry? Fifty dollars is the entry bucks. fee, but everybody gets a ticket yep. to a to a Nets game with the entry. And you yep. know, yes, mm -hmm. and you know okay. it's lit. Kyrie is there now, but he's been balling out. Yeah. So it's it's, it's, it's a hey, good go, time to be at the fly, yeah. Pull it here, thanks. Yeah. See, I like see Shout out to uh, to Family on Three. Um, mm -hmm. you know, every year we've been we've been raising money for Family on yeah. Three uh, for their Christmas uh, tour. So uh, last year we hit up three hospitals throughout the city. Giving away gifts, and uh, we actually we, we came out of our pockets again after we gave away all of the, the gifts that we had uh, raised from the tournament, and that Kmart had uh, given us. We came out of our pockets again to uh, to hit up a family shelter in Brooklyn, just because we wanted to. We was in that kind of mood. We wanted to extend, uh, you know, what we were doing. So we're trying to double up this year and get to get to a couple of more hospitals, get to a couple of more uh, family shelters throughout the city. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely, if if you got some game. Um, and you want to play in the tournament again? The registration—it's only fifty dollars to play, but you you get a ticket to the Nets game. We got a whole bunch of surprises. Um, I, I I could tell I could tell y'all. Uh, uh, I give y'all two of the people that's gonna be that's gonna be coming out to the tournament right now. Y'all just seen her? She came back for the for the for the, for the, the last episode of Power. Uh, Raina, mm -hmm. aka my little sis Donshay Hopkins. So she's gonna be in the building for the two K tournament uh, this year. And, um, and 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 Cortez, y'all know if y'all following battle rap, y'all know Cortez, Murder Ave Gang. Standard He's going family. to be there, yeah, as as well. That's all I'm gonna give y'all. We got a whole bunch of other surprises. I'm only giving y'all two right now. But again, for the youth, if you guys want to sign up, it's November 23rd. We're gonna be at Kmart uh, on 34th Street. So 11 to 4. Be on time, please. Uh, and we gonna we gonna we gonna get it rocking. And then again, the, the final two from the youth tournament will move on to play at the Barclays Center. If you do, if you if you are part of that final two, you actually get two tickets. So the final two will get two tickets each to go on to the Barclays Center. And then of course we're gonna have the adult tournament right after that. And uh, they will also be playing on the same day at the Barclays yeah. Center for the finals. We're gonna give you guys the, all the info for the adult tournament next week. But we wanted to focus on the kids first because it's the first year that we've been um, doing doing the tournament uh, for the kids. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to just get that out the out the way first. Um, but again, November 23rd, um, we'll be at Kmart on 34th Street. That's for all of the kids. And then we'll be in uh, the Barclays Center in December. So yeah, Yo, yeah, yo dude who uh, been, been winning the last twin. three years. Twin. Yeah, Shout twin. out to Twin. He, he can't play this year. He got, we got, he got he's, to finish the title. Huh? That's what I'm saying. Y'all been just paying his rent every year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, Y'all been paying that, that month. month. Y'all paying not his our month. Fault. I don't know. Like, yo, the, the competition got it. I think, you know what? And honestly, I think you gotta, we should. You got, we got to do some more outreach. You know what I'm going to do? Because I've been a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> the last couple of years, H2O playing and all. I, I haven't practiced. You know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to start practicing. You got I'm gonna well, start practicing. Matter of fact, I'm going to be I'm, I'm in the tournament. You got three weeks, yeah. right? Yo, yo, hey, you like, yo, yeah. coming to watch, bro. Like, you nah. in the tournament and you going against him and this dude be playing <laughs> all day. Oh, yeah. He all year. He been yeah. playing all year. You know what? I'm going to practice. Right. I'm going to start practicing. This day forward, you know what I'm saying? We're going to hold you to that. I'm real talk. I'm a, real talk. Real, <laughs> real talk. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a, nah, but you're uh, right, no though, because we, we saw 
We saw Twin and them at um at Taj Gibson joint. Yes, and uh and Fort Green. And Fort Green. Mm -hmm. And one of the first things, yo, you're having the two K tournament, yeah, right? Need that. Like yeah. they waiting on that. <laughs> yo, we they don't like, know already. Like, oh, they waiting on that. Yo, where's my my, right. my your charity? He, like, yeah, he, he almost got upset with me because I posted the flyer for the youth game. He did me immediately. Like, yo, what's up? We ain't, we ain't got the dust no more. I can't defend my title. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. We good. We, we got to do something for the kids, too. Yeah. We, we got you. The dust, we, 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 have, we have the tournament for you guys. Don't worry. Let's get right? a belt this year. We might need to do we that. Well, I'll be yeah, we might We're not going to say too much. Oh, my fault, my fault. Because we had bad. a discussion about something that we want to tweet yeah. for the prizes and everything. So you know we're going to get into that. And if you want your high school bowling team, let Ant know because <laughs> then there's a discount into the tournament. <laughs> you know done. what? Right, yes, it's, it's half off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> half off? 25 bucks. You got to bring your high school bowling You got to bring your bowling glove to show them that you're on the team. If you play on the high school bowling team in your school, I will pay for you your entry. Ain't nobody getting paid to get in. Ain't no bowling team. In, in New uh, York City. Right. Only, only the first two. Only the first two. <laughs> I, I, there ain't no bowling team even in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, bet, I bet you two people are going to be on, on the yeah. bowling team playing this year. I bet two, you. I'm done. I bet but you. listen, even if you guys are too busy to actually attend any of these events, just definitely, I mean, I'm sure there's a place they can donate because this money is yes. going to families in need during the holiday time. So if you cannot make it, still go on our social media sites and find ways to um, donate for this amazing cause because this is what the holidays are Absolutely. about, giving back. Yes, Absolutely, and you're gonna to want to be a part of it because not just the kids tournament, not just the adults tournament. Real fans, real talk. We're taking over the Barclays Center that day. We're in there. Yeah. We 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 mob and everybody's coming through with us. So you're gonna to want to show up and be a part of that. that and day. we got some surprise. We got like, listen, guys. I'm telling you, you do not want to miss what we put together for you guys this year at the Barclays Center. You you you're gonna to want to be there. We we got some people from all over the globe. No cap. That's gonna be that's gonna be pulling up. We got some special performers that's gonna be there. We're not dropping no names right now. We're going to wait till December. Y'all got to wait till December to see the, the celebs that's popping up at this uh, 2K tournament. And it, it, I'm telling you, it's going to be a doozy. When you when you see what we got for y'all, it's over. It is going to be Listen, a doozy. And you, and you definitely it is. can't come in there I'm cheating. I'm telling you, it's one of those. It's, it's one of those. Because we will ban you if you cheat, okay? Because Fortnite is out here oh, giving lifetime oh, that's bans. that's a whole different. What happened? No, no, he, so Fortnite yeah. is giving, uh, gave <laughs> a lifetime ban. Money. Because a 17-year-old popular uh, gamer has been just How did he cheat, and he somehow like coded the software or did yeah. something that he was He's able smart. to <laughs> to win. He won the and, whole competition. He took all the money, uh, and they find out he was phase, using something. Oh, sorry. I'm just phase knocking my nervous. drink out my hand. Oh, sorry, man. So what they so what they do? They gave him a lifetime ban. Yeah. Did they keep did they keep the money? I think he got to keep the money. I'm but he cool, can't play, bro. He can't we got the no money. Who cares? Yeah. So All right, he, cool. I'm cool. Bro. And he no. made a very dramatic crying video online. So How like, we got time for your crack out tears? Seventeen years old, and to me, up, bro. that's a genius. He, he needs some act right, and I'm yeah, gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell nice you right now. You Absolutely. try to, you try to, you try to cheat in the real fans, real talk, two K tournament. We calling up Justin. Yo, you can't change the buttons too. He coming to see y'all. Yo, you can't. You got to keep it on the original buttons. Cause people be changing the buttons and all that, and and, and making X the, the the dunk and everything like that. You, you know what I'm saying? Back. You can't change the buttons. You got to go with the original <laughs> buttons. I mean, I don't do any of that. I'm just saying. It's... Yeah, I, I mean, I play like how it is. Harani, all help we can get this. No, nah, nah, I don't. <laughs> I don't. You can't change the buttons because people be doing the little turbo thing, and all you know is you know what I'm saying, coming down the lane and throwing it down. Like you know what I'm saying. Listen. So. <laughs> I don't know, bro. He Harani need all the help he can get. We're gonna get him some help. We, all right, I mean, you know we what? definitely gotta figure out a way though. Somebody gotta stop twin, man. We have yeah. just been putting so much money in twin pocket. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna look for years. some I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm gonna get somebody. You gonna scout? I'm a scout. <laughs> I'm a scout and get some real some real uh some real gamers in that junk. We need to find out if twin is on one of these E-League teams because he just were because he's cheating. That's <laughs> he crazy. Cheating. Yeah, son. Like you know what I mean? He won a tournament every year we've had it. We wow. got, you know what? Now that's it. It's, it's, his reign is over this year. We're gonna, we gonna go to hip hop game up. We're gonna go to some gaming event. <laughs> And we're gonna start scouting yeah, some talent. Exactly. Let's do it. Yeah, and that's that's what's going and down. Get, this get shit. twin up out of here, man. You're not gonna you, ain't no ain't no, ain't no four P going down for the real fans, real talk to him, man, all right? Nah, but uh shout out to Twin for <laughs> Definitely. coming and winning three years in a row. Shout out to everybody actually that's been playing in the tournament uh for the past couple of years, you know. Um, but yeah, he's just he just been doing his thing, so it is it is what it is. But he ain't he ain't getting a four peak this year. I'm letting you know right now that ain't that ain't gonna happen. If I got to you know be the person to stop him this year, then that's just what it's gonna have to be. And <laughs> we he just gonna win four times in a row. Then <laughs> like, listen, I'm telling you, man. What up with them Lakers though, man? So oh, with them Lakers. 
Well, I'm, first of all, let me explain. I got two Just years left under my under LeBron. my contract. Okay, I'm sorry. Don't ask what happened with LeBron right. James? Bro. I mean, he's looking pretty good, bro. Three Just straight triple doubles. LeBron. You know, I mean, you know, he's he's looking like that bad man, LeBron James. <laughs> you know, uh, as 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 Uncle Shea calls him, Goat James. He's looking like that right now. Three straight triple doubles. The Lakers are in first place right now. I mean, I, you know, I couldn't be happy about about this whole situation, how everything went down. Yeah. You know, I'm just putting it out there. You know. Think Anthony Davis gonna stay or what? Yeah, he's staying. Why? Where why he gonna would go? he leave? Right. Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. Speaking Cause of because they gonna win not... a chip this year. Why would he leave after they won a chip? Kawhi did it. Yeah, that's Kawhi. It's different situation. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. The Kawhi laughed down. He he, he different. <laughs> he's just a whole you. different type. I mean, he had a whole country. He had a whole country. Kawhi, Kawhi yeah. is gonna be the reason Lakers don't win it this year. But you know, nah, that, that ain't LeBron's that. scared of Kawhi. Ooh. No, you're not. I think LeBron is scared of Kawhi. He's not scared of Kawhi. Thank you. No, you're not. Thank you. Yeah, we gonna see. We gonna oh, open. you got backup today. Yeah, open <laughs> oh, mark, mark, mark my words. Christmas Day, <laughs> you gonna see the animal come out. What of happened when they James. played opening night? That was he was warming Facts. up. We just got started. This is the first up. game of the season. Nah, man. So Kawhi come, wasn't warming up. He supposed to come no. out hard. That Kawhi was the was, opening Kawhi, night. Kawhi, 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 Kawhi showed up and dropped no. thirty on his head. He did. Kawhi wasn't warming he up. Did. He did. He had the LeBron didn't want to guard him, bro. Yeah, that was scary. I was like, from that asterisk championship he won last year. Asterisk. How was that an asterisk? He beat Golden State. He without, his, without Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson. He took a team that had never won. Well, Golden, said, no, just jump on my back. Golden State guys. beat me, LeBron. Right, let me, let me, Golden let me, State beat LeBron me, without me, Kevin Love and Kyrie. Ask, so you gonna, this. Let me, let me ask y'all this. Was right? it asterisk on I, that? Yeah, people want to put all this praise on, on Kawhi Leonard, right? He's he's the best player in basketball right now. If Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson play last year and they don't win that championship. We're not even talking about Kawhi being the best player in basketball. That's not true. I would say that he, that true. because he still led That's the Toronto true. Raptors no, to the he, NBA Finals. He, bro. First of he, all, they weren't got they they weren't even with KD. They weren't going to get swept. How you know that? Toronto was playing amazing basketball, yeah. bro. And, and this is Golden State with, with 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 four superstars on they the team. They were not going to sweep them. You see what happened who to Golden State now, right? Yeah. They, who they don't got nobody. Everybody they had, knows. They weren't going to sweep them. They got a lot. Of, they I, I can't even tell you. You can compare that. They got a lot right of people hurt right now. Who, matter. Who you know on the Golden State roster right, right now? Yeah, they got. A, they got a bunch of G They don't got nobody. They're they not strong right now. Who called that? That's their own fault. That's the, listen, I'm not saying. I don't care. I'm just saying. I'm glad. Trip is trying to front because he's such a LeBron lover. Like he leaves that fan club. Like let's let's call it what it. Let's stop. Don't act like they would have swept Kawhi and them. Toronto was a good team. They were not going to sweep them. They would have beat them in six. Yeah. But they weren't going to sweep them. Didn't they get swept the year before that out the playoffs when LeBron was uh, still Was Kawhi on that team? You know what I'm saying? Then you prove my point. Because yeah, exactly. Kawhi wasn't on that team. Yeah. The teams that... That right, team so, hold on, hold on. so this is how you kill him right now, right? So <laughs> that year that Golden State swept San Antonio when Kawhi hurt his ankle, were they about to sweep San Antonio then? When Kawhi mm-hmm. had them up by 20 Facts. points before he hurt his ankle? Against the same no. Golden State team. They weren't. Right, so what makes you think with him with a, a better supporting cast? Because that Spurs team was better than that. Than no, they were team. not. No, they were not. They were not better than that they Toronto because team. Because that, that, that was back-to-back defensive uh, player of the year, Kawhi Leonard. And Kawhi, and Kawhi that, was an MVP game. candidate last year. No, he wasn't. They were not going to sweep he them, bro. He wasn't MVP last year. Bro, he that's, no listen. We I don't, don't want to hear. I, I know hear it that. hurts your heart, bro. It don't hurt my. It don't it hurt, hurt my your heart, heart, okay? Because as much as LeBron has been chasing championships, he only got one more than Kawhi, and he got the same amount of Steph Curry. And it hurts your heart, bro. It don't hurt my heart. I get it. Well, how many LeBron got? Three, three. three. Could, could that's carry LeBron's jock strap. Three. Mm. What he been in nine? That, that, nine. And, that's why when they do the all time. Wait, wait, wait. Games, LeBron, LeBron been in two. He won three <laughs> finals, th- three championships, yeah. and been in nine. Exactly. <laughs> and he only done played with about twenty Hall of Famers. Yeah. Let's call it what it is. Yeah, bro, Every not... year he playing with two Yo, or three Jordan went six for six, bro. They, got, they kept getting hurt. <laughs> How you going to go? His teammates kept getting, getting hurt. hurt. Yeah. He go? Or they don't want to play with him. One of the <laughs> other. His teammates kept getting hurt. Play with he the goat kept getting hurt. Oh, go James. He the choke. <laughs> go James. You going to see this year when they win the chip? Uh, it's but always this year. He has Andy Davis. Exactly. Everybody got somebody. Dwight Howard. Everybody got somebody. How many Hall of Famers Kawhi had last year when he won? None. I wait. Not mm-hmm. one. The Raptors were he like... He went against... A, he, who did he play? Who was on the Raptors? Who like did he said, play? Who was on the Warriors? They what? still had Steph. They, they had still Steph had Draymond. They, they had Clay for who almost all six games. Yeah, Who's Clay was there. They had their big three. Who's Draymond? He's wilding now. Who's Draymond? He's wilding now. Draymond is trash. That's what they do. They they oblivious to the other... They trash. But when it was purely Steph, Clay, and Draymond, they was champions. I'm shocked you can't admit that. Yeah, they were champions. They won championship. Right. They won 73 games with those three guys. And then they lost in the finals. To LeBron. Exactly. Right. 
All Go right. James. So when, when LeBron beat him, they were somebody. When yes. Kawhi beat them, they was nobody. <laughs> no, there wasn't. You just said that, bro. <laughs> when Kawhi beat them, they had to have my Clay drink, or, Did he or, not just say that? Or Kevin Durant. They was hurt. They Clay didn't played the whole series. Clay got he hurt in game six. And he That's got hurt fact. before that, too, in the series. He, Oh, see he got I'm her saying, early bro. in the series. They also see what had Clay didn't get her early in that series. They sat him out. He should have played. He was hurt. They had but Boogie he wasn't Cousins there. too. He wasn't Thank on you. the court. Was he on the court? Oh my god. Was he now, on the court? He yes got or no? Hurt. Was he on the was court? Was Draymond on the court when y'all beat them? After he punched LeBron in the, in the you know what? I don't want to say because it's a family friendly show. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> was Draymond on the court? Draymond. No. Was, hold on. Was no. Steph hurt that year? Yeah. Was it Steph hurt that year? Did y'all beat them? There's a difference between injuries and breaking the rules of the game. Draymond. Yo, you got to break the rules of the game. You got to break the rules of the game. You broke the rules of the game. He got suspended. What you want me to say? Yo, Steph was hurt that year, too. Is... Everybody's bringing up the finals, but Steph was on the court, though. Oh, now everybody's Draymond heard got suspended for fouls. See what the LeBron lovers do. Yo, Trip, I'm it's like, okay, bro. I'm Paul, bro. Draymond, it's okay. this what I be trying to tell you. I'm Paul. That's, what I that's, tell that's, part, you. that's part of the game. He got suspended. You got to step in the game. You got to play listen, smart. Listen, the, the troop is a hard player to get, swallow, get, baby. getting flagrant fouls and all that and technicals. He, he's three he and six in the finals. Despite playing with 20 Hall of Famers, he's three and six in the finals. And he's, that's and he's bad, still better bro. than your favorite yeah. basketball player. I mean, yeah. He, no, he's really not. He's not better than Mike. Oh, my goodness. He ain't better than Mike. He's not better than Mike. He's not better than Mike. Listen, Mike out here building prisons, right? Oh, that is not prisons. that Michael Jordan, bro. Nah, oh, that you. is not thank the Michael you. Jordan. Bro. Oh, he thinks he thinks we don't, he don't know. know. Yeah, yeah we, know. we don't Come know. We know, bro. That's not Michael know. Jordan. And, and he got gambling debts. So what? <laughs> he he don't <laughs> got no debts. <laughs> and listen, man. We, look, look, they saving you now again, Trip. They saving you. They saving you. Whenever we talk too much about LeBron, we gotta wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? That that's when the budget start getting cut. Wrap it up. Don't talk about LeBron. We out here in these streets. You know, we we applaud him for the schools and the houses for the homeless. But we also got to say and that. And the taco truck. And the tacos and the, we for got, the uh, We applaud taco him for that. Let's not forget that. But we should look at him strange when guys like Jason Terry outplay you in the finals. We Ooh. should look at you funny. You know what I'm saying? Because Jason, so Jason Terry will never be in a whole thing. In, in, in he the did. Dang. 2011. Thank you. Them. No, he Thank didn't. He didn't outplay them. 2011 when Dallas. Let's cut the camera. He was flying all over. Let's cut the cameras now. The jet was like this. What was his numbers? What was his numbers? Remember when Jason Terry said LeBron can't guard me? And then drop 20 right after. You talking about the same Jason Terry that got baptized by LeBron. That Jason Terry? A couple years later? He got baptized by LeBron. He was like But he got baptized by LeBron. Remember when LeBron didn't want to shoot? He got baptized by LeBron. Remember when LeBron didn't want to shoot in game five He always wanted to shoot. That was the year he forgot he was the best player. Thank you. Jason Terry school. Thank you. Jason Terry ain't Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cliff, Listen, we don't thank have you. enough time to we'll go back you. and forth. Don't, don't do not that. Not one, not two, don't do not three. Stay in your lane, Cliff. Not four, Stay not five. I need not six. He only got three, bro. Not seven. Remember He's that? He's going to get him. Yeah. He's going to get him before it's over. December before 5th, it's over, this, Jason Terry retired already. December 15th. December, December, December 15th, balling for peace. <laughs> We we there. We there. We there. You know what I'm saying? Real fans, real talk. Thank y'all yes. for always having me. You know what I mean? Follow the movement. Baller for peace. B-A-L-L-I-N, the number four in the word peace. Follow me, H205. Thanks for the support, man. Of course. Ron okay. had to take over because you were just getting yeah, out of control over here. He, he had a tantrum over there, He just there, getting bro. out of control. Listen, this guy is trip. I'm a Paul, stop, bro. Hey, it's not, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> The hate to see y'all blood right now is not good. I'm Guys, appalled. I, I, I'm, IG, I'm ashamed so. of y'all, actually. I'm, I'm really ashamed of y'all. He's appalled by us. We might not be yeah. back next week. I'm ashamed. Yo, Trip, I said I wanted to come back, you know, a couple nah, of times. Nah, yeah. it's going to be a whole new, new, wow, new, 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 new bro, Trip <laughs> mad, Listen, we're going to wrap it up, he guys. He mad, man. <laughs> Rashida, you 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 on the show next week. You talking on the show next week. Wow. wow. I want you wow. watching all the NBA games this week, because next week you up here. I guess I gotta do like the Jets coach and start filling out my resume. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Let's close this out. So we're going to close it out. Thank you guys again for tuning in. We're going to continue on Combo IG. So definitely stay tuned for all of our social media. And once again, I'm Kill us some more. Real fits, real club. We just really don't talk to you. It's too old. Yeah, we're here, baby. I'm the man, so please stand by if you can. What we got is worth a lot, so put a tie on your plans. On court, talking sports through the eyes of the fans. With Trip Young, Emma Marie, Eric Sanchez. You heard what I said. Check the latest topics and stay ahead of the beat. Keep us in your topics and uh-huh. we ahead of the Yo. streets. It's Johnny Floss, bringing a different type of blend. Backing up Misfit to make sure y'all tuned in. You gotta watch, this show is one of a kind. Updates on your TV screen from 8 to 9. For the older folks, so even if you're younger, no matter what sport, this show, we got it covered. It's filmed live in the middle of BK, so ain't no better sports show to watch on Thursdays. Real, real fans, real talk.